Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my Zephyr's Mortgage in Motion channel. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, reach out with any questions that you have. Uh, today's topic is assets. So when you fill out an application, there's basically those three major parts of documents that we collect, your credit report, your income, and your assets. I wanna go over assets today. And don't mind me, I've got the weighted vest on. I've been going for a little while. A little bit winded today for some reason. So, assets. Assets are required for your down payment. They are sometimes required for your reserves, meaning funds we're not gonna actually use towards the down payment or closing costs, but monies that we want you to have in reserves after we close. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I wanna talk about two months of bank statements because that's kind of the most common of what we're gonna need uh, for your approval on your loan. Some programs we just need one month, some we need three. Some we need like 12 months, sometimes we need 24 months. Kind of depends on the program. When I tell people the list of the things that we're gonna need to verify those assets, I explain that I would like to have two full months of bank statements issued by their institution that cover those full 60 days. Now that means I want a real statement that's issued from the institution and no missing pages. And we do look out for large deposits because we want to look at two months of seasoning, that those monies have been in your account for two months. Um, checking, savings, retirement, mutual funds, gifts, any of that. We want to basically have a history of where those funds have been. Um, one of the biggest issues I have is somebody, some people will just send me like a screenshot from their phone of their banking account. Well, that's all fine and good. The history of what's going on in those accounts is actually what my underwriter cares about. So, big mistakes. Don't redact. Don't send me something blacked out. It has to be the real thing, everything on there. Um, send me all pages, even if that page is blank. The underwriter hates it when they think that there's something missing. Um, and no screenshots. Um, the real statement that's issued from your bank is probably the very best thing that we can get. Sometimes we can do some printouts. Uh, stamp transaction histories from the bank, that kind of thing. Um, but the real deal is probably the best. So um, there are lots of technical capabilities now when you fill out the application that you can actually allow the system to pull your bank statements for you. Uh, basically enter some information, including your passwords and username and stuff. We can actually pull all that for you. So those can kind of help some delays as well. So that's kind of the nuts and bolts of assets. Um, I'll do more videos about large deposits, seasoning requirements, um, gifts, and that kind of stuff. But this was just a general provide all pages of your bank statement kind of, kind of uh, public announcement here. So that is all for now. Um, look for more on assets and the pre-approval on that, how our underwriter looks at it, etc. Whew, I just went up a really big hill. That was a good one. All right. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. Please like, subscribe, comment. Any questions that you have, always happy to help. And again, this is Zephyr's Mortgage Emotion, and I'm out.